How you doing, YouTube? Y'all already know this your boy Freightliner King, about to be in the National King. So I'm driving down the uh, highway, and um, I get a I get a meter, I get a sensor saying on my dashboard that my uh, my voltage is too high to my batteries. So uh, anytime you get this message, you want to immediately pull over. As you see, I'm at the pilot right now. You want to immediately pull over. I'm like, maybe it's too hot, but they say the hotter it get the more your voltage should decrease. So um, right now I got the truck off. I shut the truck off, turn it back on. Still, everything is just jumping up and down, jumping up and down. So I look on YouTube, I look on the internet. They like check your connections, check your battery if it's corroded. The batteries is fine. Right now it's cool right now, but when I turn the truck on, that jumps from like 14, like from where is that now, all the way to over 15 volts then it go back down to 14.6 then it go up to 15 volts again so maybe this will help y'all out so i stop i pop the hood i check my batteries it do need a little cleaning but i know that's not the problem uh just a little small one for this uh over here it's probably like a little three or something you see how this loose oh, okay yeah so um, back to what I was saying. So I checked the batteries. It's a little corroded, but it looked fine. So now I went over here. I checked my connections on the alternator. You see, this is a brand new alternator. So I checked this. You see, this not wiggling. I checked this. This not wiggling. Now guess what I think the problem is. Now watch this. I always call. Now watch this. You see how that's loose? That's loose. So I'm about to tighten this up. Luckily, somebody had a ratchet for me. I'm gonna tighten it up and I'm gonna see uh, this middle one right here, the sensor. I'm gonna tighten that up and see if that correct the problem. So we're gonna find out right now. I'm about to tighten this up. I need some pliers, but as y'all see, this is loose and this is your sensor that tells how much voltage should be you know, uh, sent to your batteries. So I'm gonna tighten that up and see if that fix the problem. And uh, yeah, let me tighten this up and we're gonna, we gonna see what's up. So right now we're just trying to find the right thing to go on there. Well, you know, I don't be knowing all the names and everything, but luckily this truck driver next to me had some some tools because I would have been shit out of luck or I would have had to go buy some, which I gotta buy some anyway. You see how loose that is, man? Yeah, I'm like, man, it's a brand new alternator, so. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, can see it. yeah you can see it's brand new. So I'm like, ain't no way. It must have been from all that rattling and stuff, you know? Yeah. That's why it was real loose too, wasn't it? Definitely tighter too. That motherfucker was loose as hell. It's about to damn that fall off. Ooh, sassy. All right, so I'm about to go ahead. You see my battery voltage is right there. Let's see if this works. I always get that. It shows me when the transmission is, you know, got enough air in the system. So far, it looks real good. That's where it's supposed to be at almost. Let's just see. Let's hit the gas. Sassy, move. I'm trying to do a video. All right. I'm going to hit the gas. And I hope this one. Oh, yeah. It's looking good already. At first, I, I should have did the video when it was jumping up and down. But, man, this damn thing went all the way up to 14.5. Past 14.5. 15 volts. It was ridiculous. So I fixed the problem on my own. Look, it's just sitting there now. That's ridiculous. At first, y'all, I promise you, you will have to see the video at first. It's jumping up, jumping down. 14, 5, 15, 3.13.8. The motherfucker didn't know what to do. And your voltage is not supposed to jump up and down. It's supposed to stay the, stay the same. 
Now that it got that charge, that full connection, that sensor is telling my alternator, hey, we need to stay at this connection because we don't want to mess the batteries up. Anytime your shit is overcharging, park that motherfucker immediately before you fry your batteries. It's Freightliner King, International King. I'm out, baby. This shit fixed. Thank you. This guy helped me. He got my he got me together with the tools. Thanks a lot, bro. I don't want to be safe, drivers. Alright, yeah, <laughs> So what happened here was when what I'm assuming under my assumption and we're gonna try it out real soon. You see how this wire is real tight now? I, I'm assuming when I hit bumps and stuff like that, it this connection and got like disconnected off this, which the alternator just kept charging the batteries, kept charging the batteries, so it'll go up 15.5. And then I'll probably hit another bump or something and it'll rattle back on there. Then it go back down to the regular voltage. But it kept shooting up, shooting down, shooting up, shooting down like crazy. So let's see if this fixed the problem. We about to find out right now.